Hey guys, this is Greenbolt, and today I just wanted to look at the patch notes for Rocket League, the new season. Um, yeah, hopefully it makes the game a lot more fun to play for other people, and hopefully it gets people hyped, because I know the game has, hasn't been at its most peak type ever yet, but anyways, so the first thing is streamer safe music, it talks about like dmca and copyright stuff you enable it which is pretty cool i mean i don't think i need to worry about that too much um but yeah that's pretty cool for people that like stream all the time rocket league don't have to worry about that um all right <laughs> here is the like real controversial controversial part the casual bans all right i know they're doing like because it is really annoying when people leave casual matches. It's just, there's no point. It's just annoying. Especially, like, when, like, they leave instantly and then, like, you're just stuck there with a bot. But, I don't know. It's like, mm, I don't know. I don't even know what to say about it. I mean, I'm, you guys already know probably why this isn't, like, maybe the greatest thing ever. But I do know what they're going for and... I understand. I know it's a, it's very just very annoying when people leave for no reason in casual matches, but I don't know if there should be a ban. But we'll just see how this turns out. If it's like really bad, they'll probably just get rid of it. Hopefully, um, talks about once you progress beyond the first level, there's a 12-hour cooldown between the. Okay, yeah. Votes concede. I take it that's vote to forfeit basically. Um, undersized party rank restrictions. I've, I've seen the thing on this. Um, this looks good. It's like basically, um, what is this? Like, it's like if you're in a party with people, um, to do like a tournament or competitive, they have to be like within three ranks of each other. So it'd be fine if you're in a party with, with a gold three and a platinum three, that's fine. Diamond two, champion one. But you can't be in a gold three plus diamond one party or a silver two and grand champion two party, obviously, because then if you get put in like a silver two tournament when you have a grand champion on your team, it's like a basically you win, you know, <laughs> 15 ranks apart. Yeah, it'd be terrible. Um, this is this change does not apply to extra mode playlists. Hmm. All right, start season four. Player to play player trading. Um... I assume this is just, um, helping people not get scammed again. Uh, let's see. This, once both players have entered items and accepted terms, a new trade review screen will appear. So, like, when both people accept, it will just go, like, this is what you're trading or something like that. And maybe, I think it will, um, help people not get scammed because people were getting scammed by, like, the little icons. People would change their item before they trade and people wouldn't see it. So... Hopefully that helps people not get scammed. Um, game ban messaging. New messaging will inform you if your account is close to a permanent ban. Alright, I guess that's good. <laughs> to anyone that's toxic and it'd probably warn them that they're about to get permanently banned. And that'd be very good. So you can just stop being toxic. Um, player count display. Dude, I already seen this. It's... It says amazing, great, good. There's no one that says like low, medium, high. Like, like it just is good, great, amazing. So, yeah, it's kind of like, what if there isn't like a lot of players? Can't really say that's good, but that's like the lowest one they have. So it's like, it's, I don't know. I don't know why they got rid of just showing the numbers. It didn't really matter to me, but that's whatever. Tactical Rumble is now available as a Rumble mutator in private matches. My friend, my friend might be happy about that because I know he liked Tactical Rumble, so that's cool. Monster Cat Antenna, I take it these are styles for like a flag or something. Cool, cool. Um, change name of Inamorata Gold Explosion to Carbonator. Um, yeah, I, I know that's that's fine. It doesn't really bother me. Um. I don't even know what Inner Marauder means. I don't even know if it has anything with bubbles, because that's what the goal explosion is, but Carbonator makes more sense probably, but I mean, if they kept it the same, it wouldn't bother me. I mean, this is fine. Bug fixes, fixed appearance of trim and octane using no decals. Benar's no decals. 
I know that it would change, like, I know some decals would change the trim of the octane. I thought it was cool, but I mean, it's whatever. Fix a crash when loading into Utopia Coliseum. I don't think I've ever crashed during that. Oh, PC. I'm, I don't play PC. I'm a little stupid. Um, fixed appearance. This is just a bunch of bug fixes. You can pause and look at these if you want to. Um, known issues. All right. That's it for the patch notes. I just really hope they have um, good tournament items. Honestly, the thing I'm most excited for is the rocket pass and tournament items. I just really hope they're worth grinding for. And yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. I just wanted to look at the patch notes and tell you what I thought about them. And yeah. Tell me what you think about them if you play the game in the comments. And thank you for watching.